What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. This video right here is long overdue. We are going to be decluttering, reorganizing. I've done a couple other big room cleaning videos. To be honest, I should be doing two of these a year, but I've definitely been holding off and just pushing this process back. This is gonna be a great video to have on while you do your errands. If you also need to reorganize and clean your space, we can do this together. <laughs> Number one thing I wanted to tackle was my activewear and I ended up trying to do the color analysis thing on myself i don't know i don't know if i did it right but i use that as criteria of what i should keep and what i shouldn't keep <laughs> before we get into all the nitty gritty stuff i do want to thank today's sponsor do you guys know what's worse than a mess that haunts you for months and months and months it's getting charged for a subscription for months and months and months and not even realizing it. I need to thank Rocket Money for partnering with me on this video because 2024, y'all, this is the year that I'm getting my finances together and I'm staying on top of them. That means budgeting, that means saving, that means canceling unwanted subscriptions. All things that I can do on Rocket Money. A little while back ago, I realized that I was getting charged for a streaming service that I did not even have my login to, so I wasn't using it. I also had this unlimited car wash subscription thing that I was not using because I was traveling and out of town. Those things add up especially for me like i already have a ton of other subscriptions streaming platforms to watch things to listen to things other websites that i have to use for work like for editing thumbnails or to get copyright free music sometimes it can be hard to keep track of all those things one of the features that i love on the app is that you can see recurring charges previous ones upcoming ones you can see it in a calendar view so it just makes it really easy and simple to look at and it just makes my finances a little bit more digestible rocket money can help you cancel those unwanted subscriptions within the app so there's no need to search for a customer service number customer service email you can also create a custom budget to fit your lifestyle for me personally i know there's so much traveling that i want to do and obviously you're gonna save money for that i just know i don't need to be online shopping and clearly from this video you will be able to tell that i do not need any more clothes no more shoes and set budgets for certain things so when you get close to exceeding that limit they will notify you and keep you on track as i'm becoming more and more of an adult i feel like i'm just more aware of what i want to spend and don't want to spend my money on you guys can get started on rocket money for free when you sign up using my link that's rocketmoney.com slash chris huey i really just love how simple the interface is and i oftentimes overlook transactions when i'm just scrolling on my bank statement so rocket money definitely helps pinpoint those certain things and has already helped me minimize on unnecessary spending so thank you again to rocket money now let's get into the video and tackle this mess of a room uh, i've been struggling i have been struggling for many months if i don't get my ish together we're gonna be coming up on like a year of this mess my room has been in shambles since april of last year and is now april of the next year Basically since I left for Korea last year, like that was like the last sort of memory of my room being clean. My room has just become a constant state of messiness. Way too many clothes, way too many things, way too many products. Part of my job is to receive products and I am so, so grateful to receive a lot of free things from brands, but at a certain point, I want to so badly be a minimalist, but like, I know that's not me. In another life, if I wasn't doing what I was doing, maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, like, maybe it doesn't look that bad because you cannot see what's in front of me. You would think that putting all this stuff on my bed would encourage me to clean and get it done so that I can actually sleep on it. But no, 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 no. That has never worked. Even back in college, I was notorious for sleeping with my laundry on my bed. I did manage to sleep here last night. Actually, I just moved a lot of clothes that were here onto my bed right before I started filming. So it was about half of that that I slept with last night. But still, that's like, it's not good. It is quite difficult to try and be productive in a space like this. I mean, my desk is not the worst. I actually tackled this a few days ago because I had so much editing to do. I just could not stand my desk being so messy. Still needs work, obviously, but the clothes situation, man. I didn't film this, but two weeks ago, I want to say, I parted ways with a lot of my active wear. Older styles that I don't really gravitate towards, just trying to make room. And I even laid it all out. I texted my friends. I was like, guys, I have all this active wear. Please come by my house, pick up some stuff, take it off my hands. And I had a few friends come through. Thank goodness, but there was still so much left. So I had my parents's friends ideally that's my sort of process friends family friends are friends whatever i still have left i'll just go straight to donations although it looks like a lot of stuff it barely made a dent in my drawers this pile 
haunts me every single day. My sister actually helped me start this little pile. She helped me fold all of these leggings and sports bras. Ideally, I like to have this surface clear. I like to have this surface clear. This box has lived in this part of my room for, yeah, basically a year now. It's just my ever-growing pile of Poshmark stuff, a lot of which is not even on my Poshmark because I haven't taken the time to take photos of it, list it, whatever. Once it's listed, then things kind of start moving, but ah, I've been so lazy. There's so much good stuff in here, like coats and jackets, and I literally wanted to do this during the winter time because that's when people actually might need sweaters and jackets. And now it's literally spring, summer. This pile is like the least of my worries though. I have those two giant dressers. I even have a dresser here in my closet that I you know, made sure fit perfectly in here so I could slide it in and have even more storage. Clothes hanging here and more clothes hanging here. I've just gotten to a point where I'm just stuck and I don't know what to do next i love all my activewear i love all my gymshark stuff it's so hard for me to part ways with more of it because i went through that whole clean out a couple weeks ago i think something that i really need to do is just go through everything again oh there is actually some space in here oh wow okay i kind of emptied out my short drawers a little bit we have some space in there we've got some not much space in here this is so hard i don't want it Oh, yeah, see, it's bad when I have to start laying leggings like on top of the ones that are already folded and close like that because we don't want that. We don't need that. I would love to know what other fitness creators do with all the activewear that they get. No, I can do this. Boom, I just thought of something. I have been wanting to do the sort of like color analysis thing that's been talked about. You can literally go to a color analyst analyst, and they will tell you what your color palette is, what colors are suitable for you, what colors you should stay away from, the colors that will wash you out, that sort of thing. The next time I'm in Korea, I would love to do that experience because I know they do that there for sure. Till then though, I may just have to self-analyze. I want to say I'm like a warm tan color i don't know my undertones and whatnot that's probably important to know for this process but let's just see let's just see what comes up warm tan skin color palette color analysis i love to wear colors i wear all colors basically i personally feel like i look good in all colors but i think i may look better in some color things may pop more this could maybe help me narrow down what i should keep or give away like look at this color wheel i have no idea which ones i would fall under autumn spring winter summer I also dress according to the season so how am i gonna limit myself okay this is not helpful at those appointments what they do is they'll lay out two colors in front of you against your skin tone and tell you which one looks good which one looks bad i think both of those colors look good on her but i can see the green it like brings out the green in her eyes <gasps> maybe i could do that maybe i could try that Ooh. do a little impromptu color analysis okay okay so i've got two blues here I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I feel like this washes me out. I honestly don't know if pastels are good on me. If your skin is glowing, if your color pops, you look healthier and stronger. Those are like the good notes. If your skin looks sickly, ooh, the colors make person look drab. Shadows are more pronounced and weak image is projected, okay. Oh, maybe I'm not a spring girl. I feel like I look kind of sickly, don't I? Oh, see, I feel like this, this color makes me look vibrant and glowy. This one's not doing it for me. Okay. It's actually so innovative. Wow. Yeah, compared to these two, I'm leaning towards these. And I actually really like these. These, fun fact, are the leggings I wore for my marathon. So, yes, those are, those are a keeper. Wait, this is actually kind of fun. Hold on. Okay, reds. Ooh. Zip this up. These are basically the same color, but I feel like this one pops more. Ooh, okay. I feel like the red is not doing it for me. Oh, oh, this is a good one. Okay, let's see. I feel like this red is not it either. If I'm to do a red, I think I need to stick with a darker red, like a mahogany. Okay, well, I guess we'll get rid of the wood. All these pinks. Oh, that's like basically my skin tone. 
I'm looking at this warm autumn example. I feel like that is probably suited for me. Warm tone color palette. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. Anything too close to my skin tone is a no. But anything lighter or darker, I think works for me. Look at me just self-analyzing. I could be completely wrong. What if I'm seeing something completely different and you guys on the other side being like, girl, those are not your colors. I like this pink. If I were to do a pink between these pinks, I would go darker because this is just, yeah. Okay, okay. <gasps> Greens, I feel like get a pass because I love all shades of green. I think these just come down to, I've had them for a long time. I don't really gravitate, gravitate gravitate towards them. I had an option for an olive green legging. I feel like this green just pops a little bit more. Yeah, I'm so excited all of a sudden. A lot of these leggings have matching tops, so I'll probably go without the top too. Green's my favorite color in general and to wear. Yeah, I feel like this and then gold jewelry is just like the perfect combo. The browns, the browns, baby. Do I have some other browns? Oh, oh, that one I feel like is very apparent this one is a no more cool tone i feel like it washes me out whereas this one hmm. is this one also washing me out mm, but i love these i love my elevate leggings oh, okay I, need to... I feel like i'm similar skin tone to these ladies yeah i'm definitely warm tone am i more her color no no neutral Sometimes the internet just has too much information that I'm just overwhelmed. Oh, wait, I'm looking so warm tone right now. Light spring. Oh, I don't think I'm light spring. Even though I love that green color right there. Oh, they give you like characteristics. Okay. Deep winter, you have medium to dark or black brown. Olive or cool blue undertones. Okay. If you're warm spring, these colors would look great on you. I'm not quite there. Holy shite. Now there's like so many... So many different things. Okay. I like this one better. And I like Sweat Seedless. Ooh, this could be an interesting one. We've got different shades of gray. Oh, yeah. Immediately? Mm -mm. Don't think that one's for me. Yeah, I think I could say bye to these. I just like these ones. I honestly love my Adapt Marl. Wait, what are these? No, Marl Seamless. These are just Marl. And I have a matching sports bra for this one, so we're keeping those. Gray pair of leggings is just good to have. These are sable. Oh, so many black pairs of leggings. Honestly, I can never have too many black pairs of leggings. Gymshark leggings with pockets, yes. I just have to keep all my black leggings. I'm sorry. Vital seamless staple we love. I can see that. This blue, I don't think is as suitable. If I were to go for a blue out of the two, I think this brings out more of the warmth in my skin. And I love these leggings. My legacy blue legacy leggings are Okay. Even out of these two, I feel like this one. Out of these, hmm, am I confusing myself? Greens, some blues again. Activewear is a little bit spread out throughout my room. It's all pretty organized, but like scattered. So taking out more of my patterned leggings and I'm moving it to my patterned leggings drawer. This drawer has always been patterned leggings on this side and then the other side are vital seamless pieces, long sleeve crops, and then my shorts. That selection right there. Got rid of a bunch of older colors and just colors that I don't think are suitable for me and I'm happy with what I have here. Anyway, let's see if these all fit. I obviously like to color coordinate all my activewear. I've freed up some space in this drawer, so. All right, hello, my cleaning days will usually always get split up into multiple days just because it can be a lot to do at one time. I pretty much went through all of my activewear and I have it sort of split up. I put them in two different bags just because it was previously just laying all over my floor. So I had to, that's the word. Compartmentalize, compartmentalize, compartmentalize. This is the master pile. And from that, I picked out quite a few things that 
I wanted to ship to my friend who lives in Miami. The last time I was in Miami, which was also my first time, I took an F45 class with Jaden. I told her the next time I do a closet clean out, I will literally ship stuff to you. So that's what we're doing. She is very, very active and I know she'll get so much good wear out of all this stuff. I stopped by USPS today and picked up one of these flat rate boxes. Stuffed this with all this. It was honestly pretty fun because I picked up stuff that I think that she would like just based on like colors and styles, what's good for functional training, running, that sort of thing. Oh, these elevate leggings. Yes, I know she has a pair of these already, so. Yes, yes, yes. Me parting ways with my activewear, it's you know, bittersweet. Obviously, I love all these, but if these can get a new home, I am more than happy to send them over. Should I color coordinate it? I feel like I should arrange it in color order. This is so fun. It's like curating a little personalized package. I could honestly do this for a few other people. I think that would be really sweet. Wait, why is that so perfect? It's a new day. It's actually a very gloomy, rainy Sunday or Saturday. And so I felt like this was the perfect time to do this one particular task, which is to refold stuff in these drawers. See, that's how you know it's bad. I'm usually pretty good about keeping this drawer folded, organized, because I don't really wear my normal casual clothes all that often. I'm almost always in my activewear. It's been quite a while and things have accumulated on top. Actually underneath, we've still got rows of folded tanks, but I think that I can go through these drawers and really dwindle it down. I just want to have staples and basics in here. This top drawer is more like casual tees and tanks and then these ones are more nicer going out tops. This is a task that... Oh! That's where this top went. See? Good things happen when you go through your drawers. I've been looking for this one toilet top. <laughs> Truly the best way, and I find the only way to really do this is just to take everything out and go through it one by one. I don't even wear half of this stuff. Oh my gosh. Some shirts I've just had for so long that I feel like I've gotten enough wear out of them. So cute, but I will wear it again. A lot of these clothes are from when I was in college. And I mean, at this point, college was literally four years ago. That is insane. Yeah, I graduated 2020, so I'm a new woman now. I'm literally, I'm closer to the age of 30 than I am 20. Oh my God, why did I have to say that out loud? Why did I say that? Ew, 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 ew. Okay, that really puts things into perspective though. Like, I'm a woman. I am a woman. Let me be a woman. Holy, if you guys didn't know, that's how old I am then. Now you know. There are some things that I feel like have aged relatively well. They're appropriate for my age still. Not that I'm like too old to wear certain things, but there's, I mean, there are some things. Going through my clothes now, I'm kind of thinking like, if I were to be working in a corporate office, a corporate nine to five job, like would I be able to wear this in the office? Would this be appropriate? And a lot of times, no. All the crop tops, definitely not. That's not to say I will get rid of all of them because I still love a crop top and high waisted pants, but that's something that I think about more often and I kind of want to elevate. I don't know, just dress a little bit more mature sometimes. It really depends on where I am, who I'm with. I like this top, it's cute. It's like a sweater almost. A lot of these tank tops that I have just don't even fit me right. I feel like my mom would fit these better because she's a little bit fuller dressed than I am. I'll see if she wants them. I just wanna have good fitting basics. I forgot I had this color. That's good to know. These Abercrombie tank tops, they fit so well. I bought a few colors of them because I love the fit. More basics that I love, also Abercrombie collared bodysuits. I actually wear these for golf, even though they're ribbed and they're not an athletic material. I just like the style and fit, so I do have three of them. We'll be keeping those. I have quite a few of these Gymshark tank tops. I love these Princess Polly tank tops. The little ruching on the side, yeah. Keep 
get rid. Okay, this is actually gonna be a lot harder to go through because these are my nicer going out tops, bustiers, corsets, fun blouses and whatnot. A lot of them I haven't even had a chance to wear yet. And usually that's a criteria. If I haven't worn it in a while, if I don't plan on wearing it soon, then it's usually an indicator that I can let go of it. But if I haven't worn it, period, then I have a reason to hold on to it because I need to wear it. I try not to have that if I wore it once, then I can't wear it again kind of mindset because obviously clothes are meant to be kept and reworn. This top is so beautiful. But you never know. Out of the two though, I think I'm gonna keep the floral. This one has more sentimental value to me too. Stuff will be up on my Poshmark for you guys to shop. I just really wanna get rid of it. And if I have an opportunity to send it to one of you guys, then I would love that. Oh, this is what I wore to my first BTS concert. It looks like nothing right now. Oh my goodness. This one is like a nice adulty blouse in my opinion. This blouse, I love the color. Didn't do as well with this drawer. This is what I've decided to part ways with. And this is what we're keeping. We'll see how much room I have in my drawers once this is all in. So we have a new task at hand and this is going outside of my room. Obviously I'm downstairs in the living room, or not the living room. This is our lobby as we call it. I have been meaning to go through my shoes and just have them not be scattered on the floor. Side note, these are my most recent she purchases. I love them. I'm obsessed with both of these. No shame in that, but I feel like if I'm to buy new shoes, I need to be get ridden, getting... My brain is not working right now. I need to be getting rid of shoes at the same time. Like I can't just keep adding more to the collection. I need to replace. These two cabinets here belong to me. And then I do have some in here, in this closet as well. Ah! Tricky, tricky, tricky. I used to religiously wear these Converse to the gym. Oh wait, these are two different pairs. These white chucks, white chucks with the Nike Lunar Lawn insoles. I'm so sad that they stopped making these because these insoles are actually so comfortable. Maybe I should just keep the insoles. But these shoes are still in... Oh, actually, no. Look at that. Look at that. Tearage. Tearage? That's from doing so many leg days. Lunges and whatnot. I have a second pair of these also torn. Step aside old Converse because these are the new ones in town. These are my nice clean ones. I... Fun fact, Converse were my favorite shoe for a very, very long time. I remember my dad would take me to Foot Locker or wherever. Before the start of a new school year, I would get to pick one pair of high top Converse and then those would be my Converse for the year. I had brown ones, red ones, orange ones. I even got custom made ones one time and that was really cool. I'll see like these. Where's the other shoe? I don't... Where's the other side? These are actually in really good condition. If I could just find the freaking, oh, there it is. They just need a little bit of cleaning on the side, but okay, I'll set those aside. These hookahs definitely need a cleaning, that's for sure. Maybe I'll set those aside to clean. These vans, I actually need to clean these vans too. These ones are cool because they're like 3M, so if you use flash. I really don't know why I bought these. I literally wore them one time. I'm just not a black shoe gal. Hmm. Literally only worn once. Favorite shoes ever. New Balance 9060s. I should really wash these Solomons. Oh, wait, I can have like a designated Uggs area. My little Ugg Chaka boots. Oh, they're so creased. Oh my gosh. I think it's time for me to retire these Sauconies, which I was so sad about. These are my favorite shoes. I keep track of the miles that I put onto my shoes through Strava, but I can also start to tell because when I wear these now, I feel a little bit of painted my knees like they're not as cushy as they once were so oh my god that's so sad maybe i could still wear them for walking if i clean them they definitely need to be cleaned these could use a little cleaning too love these brooks cute little puma platforms i just don't wear them enough love these nikes these are cute but i think i can put them in the closet i was obsessed with my doc martens 
in college. I don't know. They can be fun for an event. These docks I bought just for costume. I'm still gonna keep them because the next time I go to the festival, I'm literally gonna wear that costume. I like my platform black ones better than I like these ones. These were my very first ones though. Such soft leather. The going out boots I will keep, but I'd rather have my everyday sneakers here, you know? Throwback. Oh my God, these freaking shoes. Wow, they literally turned yellow on the bottom. What the heck? When I had them in college, I was obsessed with them. I have all the interchangeable swoops. Feels so wrong to just get rid of these because this drop was so, like I got so lucky with this. They're just a little too beat up. Whoa, what is it with freaking Air Forces that when you keep them for long enough, the bottom just goes yellow? I swear, these aren't even that old. I mean, look at it. They're pretty good condition everywhere else. What the heck? There must be a way to clean that, right? All right, I just finished reorganizing. So these are the shoes that I gravitate most towards. These are the ones that I train and run in. I've got sandals and flip flops up there. One pair of Uggs there. And then this bottom section, more casual sneakers. My row of Uggs there. I moved all my boots. It's a little dark in here, so don't mind it. But I moved my boots, my heels and nicer sandals. You can't really see, but they're all in here since I don't grab towards those as much. That is how it should have been all this time, to be honest. So I'm glad I got that out of the way and now this area is clear and my mom will be very happy about that. <laughs> Alright y'all, thank you so much for watching this video and spending that time with me. It was nice to have some company in this process because it can be a little um, tedious, stressful, but at the end of the day it's always worth it. It is a huge relief doing bigger cleanups like this and I suggest everyone do this, I mean, as often as I can. I know I need to be doing a whole lot more of them, definitely more frequently. Yeah, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out Rocket Money, you can use the link in my description. They've definitely been a tool for me in getting my finances together. So definitely recommend. Thank you so, so much for watching. That is for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.